Hey, Aaron Dadlow here. I uh, just got a new camera from my lovely fiance for Christmas and I'm going to make you a new video. Uh, I'm starting a l series of videos here about speed and optimization techniques that I do in 3D Studio Max, uh, trying to keep my workflow as quick and efficient as possible. I've been working in 3D Studio Max for a long time in a production environment for about six years, so I'm well aware of short deadlines, needing to improve your workflow, and what things you can do to cut corners to save time. So the first off uh, I'm going to show you is Active Type. Uh, it's a nifty little window that you can call almost anywhere inside of Max and have it create, do whatever you want, objects, all that kind of stuff. You can download it at this link and uh, install it. It's free, it's great, I love it. Here we go. Installation is super easy. You download the script from ScriptSpot, searching for Active Type or this link, and just drag it onto your viewport. See the cursor will spin for a second? That's all you have to do. In order to use it, just right click on your toolbar, go to Customize, and pop over to the keyboard, and Active Type. So right here, I'm just going to assign this to a hotkey, hit B, and then we'll just assign its preferences to a, uh, another hotkey here. I'll show you about those later. So by default, when you install this for the first time, you'll see something like this pop up. It's just the settings. You don't ever really need to see them again, but to cover some more advanced features, we'll go into here later. So to start off, instead of trying to remember where an oil tank primitive is, it is under extended, is it oil, oil tank, all right, just with active type, you can press B, oil tank. You're already there. Same thing for teapots, rectangles, bipeds. This essentially gives you access to any Max creation tool straight from your viewport. So great, I can make a bunch of objects, cool. Well, that's not just the end of it. To any object, you can add a valid modifier. So you can see in just a few seconds, you can end up creating a, a stack of whatever you'd like, which is great because if you're an experienced Max user and you know exactly what you want, you don't have to let the interface get in the way. So aside from just creating objects and adding modifiers to them, which you can do really quickly, you can actually do a little bit more. You can execute one line scripts from it. Just by hitting B, I can type equals and then actual Max script. So let's select cameras, hit enter, I've got them. It's essentially this window down here, but accessible from anywhere. This also lets you perform simple Max script operations on an object. So if I select my teapot and I can see that there's a spout, spout equals false. I can even do this across a bunch of objects. So extremely quickly, you can have complete control over what you're trying to do in your scene. What's more, is that it can actually store simple Max scripts within it. So if I open up my preferences, you can see there's a commands file. You'll be able to write your own tags that call Max scripts. For here, I've created one called Make Teapots. Tell it to you for 1 through 10, make some teapots, put them at some place in wire color black. You can actually semicolon that and execute multi-line scripts. And then just go ahead and save that. We'll close this. Let's clear out these objects. And then when I enter active type, instead of doing equals, I can do hashtag, and you can see I have access to my scripts. Here's make teapots. I'll run that, and you can see that I've gone ahead and made my teapots. Active type is the perfect way to cut through the UI and just do exactly what you want to do. It is a huge time saver. All right, that's it for the first installment of this video series. Uh, if you like what you saw, you can always uh, keep an eye out for more. and. Uh, if you have any suggestions for other speed tips or videos that you would like to see, just let me know and uh, I'll see what I can do. I'm Aaron Dablo. Thanks for watching.